There are very few times when a guy can walk out his front door and go hunt doll sheep. Harvest a doll sheep has always been something that I've thought about and wanted to do, and now in a position that we're just gonna do it. Everybody's gonna have to be on their A game to get through here safely. It's super steep no matter how we look at it. But you gotta be, you gotta be careful all the time. There's no, no moments where you can daydream. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Rope up. Just have an eye for the crevasse there. I can hear you. Sometimes the hardest part about sheep hunting is getting into sheep country. Guys, what do you say we throw our crampons on here just so nobody goes for a ride down the glacier that we don't want to take? Often the fastest way is not the easiest. So now's the time you gotta be a little more careful on the glaciers and just take your time and slow things down and just be methodical and pick your way, you know, over these crevasses and you know this flowing water on the glaciers are that disappear hundreds of feet down what they call a rabbit hole is somewhat tenuous at times. So now is the time we just slow things down and pick our way and take our time, get off the glacier, and then we can pick the pace up again. Hey fellas, you guys thirsty? It doesn't get any fresher than Glacier. So what do you think the best route out of here is? Well, I think we just go around that face, just to the right of that snow field, and up through those rocks. We should be able to get through that pass, no problem, and then it's like smooth sailing for the next 30K or so. Nice. <laughs> as smooth as it gets in this country anyways. We've got the call right in front of us. That's where we're heading. That call is gonna bust us out of this country. It is steep at the top. It's gonna be a lot of rock sliding. I feel it. Start to work our way more into sheep country and get after the ram we're looking for. Sketchy, sketchy. It's pretty hairy when the whole thing wants to move out from under you. It wasn't as easy as it looked. <laughs> when every rock around you just wants to fall. Yeah. And it, yeah, they want to fall. They're yeah. just waiting for an excuse. <laughs> every single step is just you have to be 100% on it. That's right. You think you're out of the fall zone, but you're not out of the fall zone. That's right. Yeah. So see what we have to have ahead of us. Okay. 
That's what we're looking for, man. Sweet. <laughs> Not too long ago. Who knows, it could be just around the corner. That's where we got to go. We're in search of the rams that put that there. Kind of in sheep mode now after we're out of that rocky stuff. So it's kind of about angles. And my theory is the higher I am, the more angles around ridges and different areas that you've got. So dropping right down through that drainage, you've got nothing to look at except for walls. Just got to cross this river somewhere and up over top of that range. It's pretty much that simple and this is the best place to try to pick a route across it. Well, wherever it's widest, but that's all we got to do is drop down off this, off here, cross the river and uh, head up through that pass, drop down the other side. We should be able to move through that block pretty quick, relatively speaking, compared to today. <laughs> if you're all right with that. Yeah. If we went up here, you're gaining all kinds of elevation. I think we walk right across the mouth of that river. You know, you can never get sick of this country. Nope. If you do get sick of this country, you've got problems. We have one more problem <laughs> ahead of us. Yeah. And that's crossing that river oh. tonight. It's 10 o'clock now. By the time we get across there and you know get dried out and warmed up, warmed it's gonna up. be closer to midnight. Yeah. So you ready? Yeah, I guess so. Finally my shoes are dry, but I guess I'm gonna get wet again. I'm taking my pants off. Pants off. Came across the first little bit here, and thankfully this is pretty sandy. It's not muddy. You know, if we're, you know, we'd be up to our knees in the mud, but it's actually pretty nice sand. So I think we're gonna have a great, great footing. Hopefully, for the whole crossing. Hopefully, it doesn't turn. Too much. That could get gross. Don't go swimming. Okay, here we go. We're just trying to figure out the best way to cross this thing. You can't see the bottom, but here we go. Not a great feeling, but it was only, you know, four meters from the bank. Beautiful night in sheep country, wet or dry. This is what we're here for. After a chilly river crossing last night, we made camp at about 1 a.m. Got some of our stuff dried out and got some sleep. I can't say that we're breaking camp at the crack of dawn, but the sun is up, the day is warming up, and we're ready to get back after it.
It's this green and black lichen on these gray granite. You know, you have big boulders in, when I see that kind of lichen on these rocks, I know that the boulders, they may look tenuous, but they're pretty solid for the most part. And you can just motor up through it. So after all the paddling, the bushwhacking and the rain, the hiking into the alpine, the glacier travel, some pretty hairy rock climbing. We're finally in the range that we're trying to get to. So now it's time to bring it down, drop the heart rate, get out of adventure race mode and into sheep mode where you're glassing and just spending time picking the mountain apart. We've had some great excitement already, but this now is the sheep hunting. And this is what me and so many other guys at this time of year are dreaming about. We came up over top of the ridge and there's a young ram bedded down 400 yards away. He's about a three year old. He's already shown signs of good potential. He had us pegged pretty quick. So we hunkered down. I don't see any other rams with him, so we're gonna have to move him off. And he's kind of in line with where we're going, so we'll just work our way past him and hopefully not spook him too bad. You know, maybe even watch where he goes, because that might be where other rams are. instead of dropping down any further. Carl, there is no more room. Oh, look at another one coming. What do you mean? <laughs> another one coming. How cool is that? Good night. Good night.